Welcome, gaming fans. This is part three of the Dad Gaming Startup tutorial series featuring Conan Exiles. So hopefully in this episode, we are planning on going through uh, the first dungeon, if I can make it there. I might have to fix up my gear a little bit. I think it's pretty much damaged or broken because I stole it from other people. I haven't crafted any of my own yet. So we might go over a little bit of crafting if I have time to do that beforehand. We got about an hour and a half or so. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't like coughing, right? <coughs> Things going down the wrong pipe. All right. <coughs> anyway, in part one, we focused on setting up our virtual house some of the things to build, show off some of that stuff. <clears throat> How to do food, cooking, some minor things like that. Second episode comprised of heading far to the east side of the map, where I showed you where we can uh, set up another base. I put a bed there. So at least in the beginner mode, you can teleport between the two. Which is good for practicing. I mean, if this is your first time playing the game, definitely would set on beginner and you know, have two bases just to practice, you know, how to build iron, how much you're going to need, things like that. Just get an idea for yourself. And then... What else did we do? I think... I got killed by a big monster, because that was fun, right? Showed off a couple other creature types you hadn't seen yet. By far over on that side, other than the giant ma mammoth spider that killed me, the rhinos are definitely a tough, tough cookie, so... You want to watch out for those over there until you get a little bit stronger. Definitely get some new weapons. I'd like to get some iron weapons, but don't know if we're going to have enough ore that I brought from Spider World to get enough right now. But I do want to try to get to the first dungeon. It is kind of past the big wave, guys, so let's see how far we can get. And then if we have time, if I can make it to the first dungeon and still have some time left over, I'm going to try to see if I can run up to another base location where I actually generally set up my base that I like. And if we can get that set up, I'll show you where that would be. If we don't run out, if we run out of time, and don't happen to be able to make it up there, because it is, it is a bit of a walk. So a lot of people in this game who are experienced just kind of start a new game, run to the location where they want to build their first base, and start building. You know, mining resources there and such and so forth. So, again, the stuff I'm showing you in this video is really only pertaining to you know, beginners, tutorial kind of stuff. Uh, maybe for those who haven't done much on the dungeon side, you know, I'll, I'm going to show where the first dungeon is. So that could be interesting if you haven't seen that before. And yeah, that's that's it for now. Hopefully once the game gets loaded here. Being a little bit on the pokey side right now. Should be almost done, I hope. Alright. Hmm. Thralls. That was the other thing we did in part two. I knew I was leaving out something. Alright, give a couple seconds here for everything to catch up. Always seems to take a little bit of time, even after you load, to get where you're moving smoothly. Alright, yeah. Thralls was the other thing I showed you in part two. We went and captured a couple of them and had a couple of them going over here. I don't think we captured a third one, did we? Ah, still loading in. Nope. That's okay. Oh. Yeah, I was going to see how much iron I had left before I run off. Actually, I forgot. I don't have a workbench yet. I'm not going to get too far without a workbench. A uh, carpenter. Sorry. A blacksmith workbench. That's what you use to make your primary weapons in the game. So without having one of those, I'm probably not going to be able to do too much to get built up beforehand. But that's okay. Let's see if we can repair any of the armor we have on us right now.
Yeah, this is all flawless stuff. I can't repair any of this stuff right now. Only thing I can repair is the pants, because those are just cloth pants. All right, what we'll do then, let's see if we can build any pieces. We definitely could use the chest piece, arms, and leggings, if nothing else. So let's see what we can build. Probably not going to be able to build too much because the requirements are not easy to do. We're going to focus on light right now, just because we, uh, it's going to be 20 hide. The... <coughs> Heavier stuff, the medium and heavy require different mats that we don't have yet, necessarily. Uh, medium we could do. Was it heavy I'm thinking of? No, they... Oh yeah, the heavy boot lining. What does that take now? It used to be you needed, uh... Yeah, thick leather. That's what I thought. So in order to get the heavy stuff, we need thick leather, which we don't have yet. Oh crap, we're getting attacked. One of the guys padded over to us. Yeah, that sometimes happens here. That's why it's good once you get through all to set up like a guard. Kind of in front of your workbenches. Just in case, you know, one of the monsters pats over here. Alright, back to what we're doing. We're going to make some armor, so... So yeah, the heavy stuff we're not going to build because we don't have thick leather yet. Medium stuff we might be able to build. Let's see. Actually, yeah, we could make, make medium leather. So what, what do we need for that? We need a medium chest padding. So we need this. We just need some twine. We can build one of those. The only thing is if light requires less uh, mats, uh, we, might be able to, we might be able to make a little bit of both. So let's not be too hung up on it. Let's go ahead and build... So we need five twine. I got enough twine on me. Everybody's fighting something. Oh. Fighting one of the turbo armor dudes. We'll give him a quick hand. Alright. So let's make some twine. Ten looks good. And then we are going to make... Ah. I'm lazy. I'm just going to type it in now. So if you start typing any of the word of the item you're trying to make, it'll just show you those items. So it's a quick little tip if you're trying to build stuff. It does save a little bit of time if you click in here. Which kind of sucks on the console, because in order to type it in, it takes a lot longer to type on a console, right? Because you got to bring up the keyboard and yada yada yada. So here it's a little bit faster for crafting, I feel. Oh, that's right. Other tip, in order to make items that are on a bench that you can't make normally, you have to actually put the materials on the bench. <laughs> See, I already didn't take that into account. I forgot that I needed leather to actually make the harness and I don't have 10 leather well we can make leather though that at least isn't a problem let's take about half of it we'll go over here real quick and we'll throw it on here to make us some extra leather Now let's cook up some of that savory roast real quick. Take some. We'll take a little bit of food with us because we may need them for. I forgot I saw the sanding torches on. That's twelve pounds. 
We'll fix that here, too. That'll explain why I was feeling like I was heavier than usual. Alright, let's get that leather. Now we should be able to put the leather on the workbench and build our med EM medium harness. Craft one of those. And now we have a medium harness that we are now going to equip. And you'll see I was putting in here to show you, you have a repair option when you put armor in here, but if you're not at the right level, like I cannot fix flawless items yet, it'll just tell you, you do not have the expertise to repair. Oh, that's okay. All right, we don't, I don't think we're gonna have enough leather to make any other items at this time. Cause we need eight leather just to build this, along with eight more leather there. We burn two at a time. That would probably give us enough, actually. But instead, let's just put a couple light pieces to speed things up, hopefully. So we need some leggings. Okay, so we need one of those. And then build some light wraps. Okay, we're gonna take that, and then we're gonna equip that. Certainly better than one armor, which is what our course lightning is gonna so. Alright, I'd like to make more, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough materials. So the other things would be nice to make definitely would be a pair of gloves, because those are really close to breaking. 17 durability left. So let's see what it will take to make that. Ten hide, we have sixteen, so if this takes wait, where is it? Gloves, gloves. More than six, yeah. We don't actually have enough materials to make one. So we're gonna have to go as is. Now, do we find the other weapons? I think I found a couple, didn't I? Oh, we got a stone mall. It's pretty broken though. We're gonna just keep what we got and hopefully we can make it to the dungeon. Actually, making the dungeon is not the hard part. It's a uh, tougher to. Sorry, forgot about my phone on silent. One second. All right, there we go. I forgot to uh, to get to the dungeon. It requires sacrifice. The first time. I'll explain when I get there. Let's go and throw out some of this other stuff we got because I don't really need it right now. Keep some stone. Keep some stone and wood on us. That should be good. Oh, we do need some food. We had bought, got those steaks. Let's eat some of those. Use a steak. I filled us right up. Okay, perfect. Let's get some water. Go a little bit deeper. Fill up our water skin. Okay. You know what? I have feral human flesh on me. Don't want that sitting there. Put torch back on. All right. Ooh. You know what? We do need to craft a bow. The first dungeon does require a bow to m help get through it. So instead of worrying about that there, let's just go ahead and get it here. Actually, I just put some of that stuff, of course, here. Got stuck on the wheel of pain. Now we need a little bit more plant fiber. Because we need some twine to make the bowstring. So we need two more and some extra plant fiber.
That should be enough now. All right, there we go. We got a bow. I know we may want to take a few arrows too. So we can make bone arrows if we have some bones. Of course, I just tossed them all out. Well, it's getting dark already. Actually, I have iron head arrows here. And some bone arrows. Let's just do that. We'll take that instead of worrying about the bone right now. We'll leave that here for later. Yeah, I think I think we're good now. Okay. It is getting dark, but since we are on, do have a timeline and a schedule we need to keep, we'll go ahead and start walking over there. So our first dungeon from our first house here, um, I did state on the other video I think, but if not, it's right here in this area at the end of that lake. There are a few of those armor guys on the way, I think. Might be an alligator as well. Other than that, the stuff inside of here is not that bad. Uh, there are a lot of soldiers on the way, so you have one of two options. One, you kill all the soldiers, and then invade the dungeon. Uh, you have to leave at least one guy alive, though, in order to get into the dungeon, because I said it required a sacrifice earlier. Because you have to kill one of the guys inside this temple. You have to actually pull him inside the temple, because there isn't one inside of there. And attack and kill him on the middle of it, I'll show you, in order to open up the secret staircase to the boss. Okay, now you'll see there's some guys up ahead. There's one guy walking towards us. And he sees us. He's an archer. And I totally lost sight of him, so had to bring out my torch. Alright, if you go through and start killing all of these guys, they're going to have a lot of stuff on them. So just keep in mind that the more stuff you pick up, right, the more stuff you're going to have to worry about bringing back. So I would just be careful how much you pick up, because like, I'm already at 73%. So if I pick up too much more, it's going to be difficult to bring back loot. So you want to go in kind of empty, but I mean, you'll see. You can always drop stuff. I mean, that's why I also take wood and stone with me. That's mainly for repairing stuff. But in a pinch, I'll just drop some of the wood and stone, So because you can always find that anywhere.
Alright, so we're going to attempt to kind of hug the wall as much as we can. In the hopes that we'll draw less attention to ourselves. And here is Skulker's End. That's the name of the campsite. That also gives us an exploration thing for scouting a Defari camp. Now, one little shortcut. From here, if you climb the wall, you can climb up and over. Our objective is that temple building right there. So by doing that, we avoid some fighting. Of course, again, if you want to do the fighting, feel free. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying there are a lot of guys in the way. So just be careful. So the only real trick here is, there should be a guy up here, at the top of the dais. You know, feel free to run in there and pull the guy in and you should be able to kill him. Now, I do want to show you one more secret that's up here. It's kind of hard to get to sometimes. So first off, I pro hopefully I said in the first video, if I didn't, green wall bad. You touch, you die. So... There's nothing really preventing that from killing you. Now, over here, you'll see this purple rock thing. Okay? That is a special item. Oh, crap. That might hurt. Ooh, I grabbed the wall in time. I might be stuck, actually. Nope, we're good. Um, that item... I'm not going to make this climb. Uh, is for teleporting around the map. So later in the game, you'll get a special item. It's a, it's actually a room that you build in your building. I believe it's called Map Room, I think. Regardless of what it's called, it allows you to teleport around the map on any of the purple stone obelisks that you have found in the game. Yeah, it's not going to work. Alright. <clears throat> the trick here is you just got to find a place you can climb up. So generally you can get up to a ledge like I did here, and then just find a spot that allows you to hit spacebar and climb up and over it, and if we're lucky, we'll make it before we fall and die. At least that's the hope. Oof, that was close. Alright. Now the trick here is you run in, hit E to tune yourself, and then run out. Run away! So we took a little bit of corruption, but don't worry, it's not really that big a deal. But that gives you a journey done, along with the fact that now you get attunement to this spot. So later, you can't see right now, but later when you build your city or, you know, your town or castle, whatever, citadel, wherever you want, once you get the map room unlocked, which is a special area you get, I think, in here. It might be over here. I have to look it up. I haven't done the map room in quite a while. But anyway, you build the map room, then you teleport to different obelisks. There's like, I want to say 10 of them, maybe? All across different areas of the map. And if you have gone kind of around the way I did to skip most of the enemies, and you got this attunement, there's a trick over here too. There are little areas that are gaps, like right here, right? And not that one, that one's a little small. Oh, we're getting corruption. Bad, bad corruption. Well, I know this one works here, because I've done this one before. So what we're going to do is we're going to fall through, maybe. Nope, never mind. That one's not wide enough. This one is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to fall inside. Hit spacebar to grab the wall. Hit C to drop, and grab the wall again to slide. Alright, now we are down inside the temple. And we got to skip almost all the enemies. So what you'll see here is, this is supposed to be the hint, showing you what you have to do. So of course the objective is to kill somebody here. So our step is to go here, and say, Peekaboo! And the only problem is they're archers. Oh, well, this guy's not. He'll work. So we just need to pull him back here. And somehow he fell inside the dungeon. Ah! There he goes. 
Alright, let's weaken him a little bit, then we'll get him on that thing. Okay, you know what? You're pissing me off. Oh, they're tricking me today. Why he keeps falling through the land. Hopefully that's close enough. Crap. Yes, it was. Okay. Whew. Thought I missed it. So we kill him around that little pool of the round circular area. Make a pool of blood and we kill him. We then get to go underground. So let's eat some meat strips here. Get some health regen going on. And here you are into the first dungeon, the dregs. You have a tablet here you can read. It gives you a new feat called Dredger. And you can come in here and see what that does. It's right here. So that gives us some new recipes. A glowing stick recipe. Breathing potion, glowing essence, glowing sanding torch, glowing wall torch, and cooked abysmal meat. So all this stuff can be found in this dungeon. And I'm sure where some of it is. Adventure notes to read if you want. But... You'll see these pools here, like this guy showing you, oh look, you can get in. You can climb in. Anywhere you see like a little fire above a pit, you can actually dive down and collect some stuff. Now this one here has a chest in it, so we can loot the chest, just take everything in it, and then you can also hit these glowing goops on the ground, the blue things. And that actually makes the glowing goop torches that you saw. Uh, there are other places to get glowing goop outside of this dungeon. And this is purely uh, if you want to collect, collect it. It certainly is not a requirement that you collect it. <laughs> so I'd say take a few if you have time to collect some, you have room. It's not going to hurt if you take a bit back with you. So right now, what are we at? We're at 16. That's it for this one. Alright, that was that one. We did the one over there. So let's hit this one. There's one more that has a chest in it, I think. Yeah, this one. We have 26, 27. 30, 30 is a good number, I think. We're just going to take back the 30 we got right now. But if you find you ever need glowing goo, you can come back here and I think you get around 50 or so and just in this open initial area. Oh, also keep in mind they only stack in 20s. So actually maybe we should go and grab 10 more. Interesting, we got a stone cleaver too. Put that on too. That's for, uh... We can, can't repair it though. Uh, that is for gathering meat off of monsters you kill. So not a bad thing. That basically just allows you to get more meat than other stuff. Once you get the skinning knife, you get more resources like skins. Off of monsters. Alright, 
right, now we got 40. So we should have two full stacks of boiling goop. That should be good for now. All right, our next stop is to go through these archways. You can go through any of them. It does not matter where. Oh, although apparently you can't climb there, so I was wrong. You have to go in the stairs. I apologize. In here you have a pretty good sized room. There are branches and bones you can probably pick off the ground along with stone if you need it. Other than that, our objective lies in the middle of the wall right here. Just walk up to it. You'll see I have a little video again. But just walk up to it and press the E button. That should open the door for you. Now you might be thinking, this dungeon looks really easy. There's nothing here. Yes and no. There's not much here. There are some puzzles to solve. And actually, we're going to need our bow on, too. But anyway, there are a few puzzles to solve, and you do have to worry about a few monsters towards the end of the dungeon. There's not many in the beginning. So the bow is needed for this. Helps if I equip it. Let's put some of those on. So you have to shoot these little round areas with your arrows in order for different things to happen. In this case, the water will rise up in the room, allowing you then to climb up into a new area. And yes, for any Harry Potter fans out there, it does kind of sound like the Slytherin that was in uh, Harry Potter, doesn't it? Kind of creepy hissing noise. Talk. Now a note. There is glowing fungus down here. That's why I jumped over here. You see it in the water down there, in some some areas. So you can get some by swimming around here if you're really interested in collecting it. But, I did not find any treasure. I did search in here before and I did not find any like bonus treasure laying around anywhere. So I would not worry too much about that. Same thing goes for over there. I did search over here before, but I don't remember finding anything. We'll go look, though, just for fun. Because we can. Oh, and look, I was wrong. There's something here. Yeah, we're pretty full, though. So I was wrong. There was a chest that had bones and other stuff in it, so... I guess sometimes there is loot. Anything over here? Alright, this side is empty though. Now as you see, we missed where we need to go is over there. But, once you hit the switch, the water actually goes up and down in some of the rooms. So if you missed it on the first try, you can get on the next one. Okay. Let's open the door and continue. Oh goody, more puzzles. All right, let's hit this one. Again, feel free to explore. I did forget about that chest in the other room. Well, the same goes here. I don't recall there being anything over there, but you know what? We're here. We'll go check. So, by shooting this one, you made that side a water glow. You have to come over on the right side first. And shoot that one that opens up the door, I believe. Yeah. 
that one I think opens up the door, and then we have to go on the left side now to shoot the one for the water. You can go to either order. And if you fall down and fail to get the water, there are there's a way to climb back up, so don't be too worried. In case you fall. There we go. Now we'll go check up here. I don't recall anything over here. But, see, I was wrong again. I honestly do not recall if I got these or not. And now we're over encumbered. Alright, let's drop... Well, I bring this stuff along for the exact reason that I can drop it now. We'll drop half the wood and half the... Fuck that. Drop half the wood and half the stone. That freezes up a little bit. Oh, that's what the right side did. That's right. The right side didn't make the door open, it made this pool of water go up and down. So if you shoot the one on the left first and then run over here, this won't go up and down until you shoot the one on the right side. But, we want to go verify there's no chest over there since I was wrong on the other two, doesn't hurt to check. Okay, so this side did not have anything at all. That's good. No! Oh, I missed my jump. Oh well. Just have to wait for the reset. It's okay. Alright, now from here on in, we have some monsters to kill. Yeah, this is the problem with not having some stronger weapons here. This fight's actually going to be pretty tough fighting these guys. And actually fighting the boss might be tough too. Luckily he's not doing that much damage, so... You can chop them up. You'll get, I want to say, bone and rotten flesh, I think. Putrid flesh, whatever it's called. So there's not much reason to break them up unless you really need bones for, like, arrows. Hmm. Our boots are broke. Hmm. And the gauntlets. Nice. Well, not much reason for these right now. They're just weighing us down. We'll just get rid of them. So, in place of that... We'll just quickly make some hand wraps and some foot wraps. It's only worth one armor, but... One armor is better than no armor, so...
Oh, need my stamina. I'm trapped in a corner right now. Not good. Oof, that was annoying. I think he broke my helmet off. Yep. Now we're down a helmet. Losing everything. Oof, and our armor. I don't think I can build a helmet right now. Oh well. My fault for not doing more stuff at a time. Alright, our objective is down there. The problem is there are two more skeletons down there. I don't know how easy it's going to be to take those guys out. So what we're going to try to do is do a little run past them. Here we go. Run away. Oh crap. Well that already was went poorly. All right, well, we got past them, I hope. Maybe. For now. As long as they can't swim. Yeah, they're there. They're resetting now. Perfect. So now this one's a little bit tricky. I don't know the correct way to do this, but this is the way I've been doing it, so I'm just going to continue doing it. But getting... I can just get the right height up here. Ah, oh, I had it. Now it fell. So I found that if I get onto this little area right here... That was too high. There we go. I was able to shoot that area, which allows the water to come up. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to try to, like, jump across or something. I'm not... I'm just not sure how you're actually supposed to do it. But I can tell you, I did that, and it started working, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to stick with that. That's poisonous. Don't step on it. We actually want to go over there anyway. I was just making sure there was nothing over there. All right, here we go. Water's up. Swim! Yeah, I don't see anything over there. I think we're good. All right. Onward. This is our final room where the boss is. So unfortunately, <coughs> since I have crappy equipment right now, we might be here a little while. So bear with me real quick. So we're doing on wait. Okay. We could have more stuff somewhere along the way. Not sure exactly what. Alright. So this boss. Huh. I don't mind there being a skeleton guy here. But that's okay. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this dungeon, so I may just not be remembering everything correctly. Well, that, and I think I was much more powered up than I am now, so I did a lot more damage. And a lot of other stuff. So this is the first boss. Doesn't he look like fun? Oh, crap. Just 
skeleton over here too. Hold on. Let me get rid of this skeleton first, then we'll work on the boss. blocking right now. Okay, let me get back to full health here. Okay, back to what we're doing now. No more skeletons though? No more skeletons? Okay, good. Now we're fighting this giant snake, so... Easiest way I've found to fight him. Just avoid his spit. He's going to go down underground, or do that. And then he pops out. Then, attack him. Yeah, it's gonna be a little while. This is the problem of not coming prepared. And getting a few upgraded weapons like iron weapons or at least a uh, better armor would have helped. But, you know, that's us trying to speed up the tutorial a little bit for you. That's Cash, if it'll beat him. I mean, I've fought him lots of times, so. I'm still off today, apparently. Oh, that was badly timed. I can also put the meat on me, that would help. Oh, we do have some unspent points. Let's let's fix some of this. So let's uh, add some vitality in here. All right. Hello. is acting weird. I 
And I'm getting my butt kicked. Yeah, this was the problem coming in here a little bit sooner than I should have. Well, of course it's about to break. Why not, right? Let's get a little bit of health back and then we'll go back in. At least if I can stay around half health, it should be good. It is going to be a while though for him to die. That was a better attack around that time. Yeah, I did not remember his shield being able to block stuff, so... Well, now we're going much better, so now I guess just make sure you take a good shield with you, or even just a basic wooden shield. That seems to block everything. I thought before the wooden shield didn't block everything, but apparently I would be mistaken. So all you really have to do is stand here with your shield up. It even blocks that poison spray I didn't think it would block. I guess the only trick here is just to make sure, like I said, you have wood to repair it. Hopefully it doesn't take anything else. I guess the only problem is if you run out of stamina. There's a little juke you can do. Basically, if you just uh, walk in direction and as soon as he's about ready to spit, if you just like move to the side or stop, he uh, spits in front of you and he misses you. There he goes. Oh, we're 
getting, what are we at, about third? It's not bad. Soon I'll need to go repair. Just go like under us somehow. Yeah, that was weird. A nice crooked. What the hell? Someone's a little drunk right now. I can't hit him. What the hell? No, I wasn't trying to go in there. All sorts of screwed up. Weird. I don't know what's going on with the boss. Alright, well. This could take a little longer to kill him now because he's all off kilter. All of a sudden, maybe fix himself. Oh, look at that! We're back to normal. That was definitely bizarre. Maybe we'll just try to stay over here.
La di da di da. Crap. I thought Drew was gonna miss me. Well, we got him down a little bit over halfway. I've probably still got another nine or ten times we're gonna have to fight him to kill him, so. We'll see. Now that everything seems to be unbugged, it should go a little smoother. Skeletons are back, really? Second here, Jesus. We got him trapped. That was actually good. Because he was annoying me. Alright, gotta repair my stuff again. Repair that, repair the sword. So hopefully the boss won't be reset in health, because that would really suck. But now that we've got a handle on things, we should be okay now. If the boss is reset, I'll just go ahead and kill myself for now. Just so I can show you some of the other areas up north. Like the place where I would suggest a couple different places where you could build a base. right now. Well, that was poorly done. I dodged but got stuck on a wall. The news is the boss does not have his health back.
Okay, back on track now. Feel much better about this fight now. Yeah, I realized why I wasn't blocking last time. So last time, the reason I was doing that juke move you might have seen earlier was I actually had a two-handed weapon on at the time, so I had no shield to block or shield to block with. But since that weapon did twice more damage, I just had to dodge more in that, kill him a lot faster. So, well, and I'm sure it was iron when I fought this guy first. I did upgrade to iron, and for first time players, I would recommend upgrading to iron first before doing this dungeon. Especially if you haven't played any of the game early, because it, as you can see here, I mean, I'm having a tough fight just because the amount of time it's taking me to take them down. You know, feel free if you want to do it and you like the challenge, go in here and do it. You can, as you see, I've done it with the starting sword and starting shield essentially, so it can be done, but because I had to remember how to do the fight and it's been a while since I've done it. It did, didn't go as smoothly as I'd hoped. But again, it can, can be done, just block a lot, make sure you bring some wood to fix your shield, some stone to fix your weapons, and that should be all you need to do. Just keep blocking and hope he dies quickly. At least quicker than he's taken for me. But again, that was my fault. I made some mistakes in the beginning of the fight and forgot some stuff that happened, so. That was human error, nothing else. Hello? Probably want a cracker? to the back area over here because my shields probably do for a repair I don't do much better than it was earlier so I don't think the skeletons are gonna be back anytime soon Out of here real quick so we can repair our sword and our shield. Swords up, just waiting on shield. So one or two more fights should finish this off for us.
Or, we want to fight a work. Okay, so we finally killed the big snake. Oh, where's our hunting knife? Or not hunting knife, stone cleaver. So we did get a stone cleaver, so we can actually cleave him. And you see I'm getting abyssal eyes, abyssal flesh, abyssal fangs. That was not too bad, actually. Alright, once you beat him, make sure you go down into this pit and look at this red folder with the E button. You will get Herpetology, Abysmal Sword, Dagger, Arrows, and Reptile Leather Epic. And then once you're done, instead of going out the way you came in, you can head out right through here. Just look at that pipe and hit the E button. It will take you up above the cliffs. Somewhere up above the dungeon. Now we are here. So now, the plan. We are going to attempt to walk to here. Because that, that has a waterway we can walk through. Hopefully without dying, how are we doing on time here? All right, have about 15, 20 minutes left. Let's see how far we can make it. All right, so you have now experienced, or seen at least, the first dungeon of the game. The dregs. Uh, you also saw the defeat of the starting boss. Uh, we did use the sword, the starting stone sword and wooden shield. So, of course, it can be done. It did take me a little while. I apologize for that. Didn't want half the stream to be that fight, but it was. And now we're just going to run up so I can show you some other zones and decent places to start bases. So, at the very beginning of the game, if you don't like where I showed you how to start, which is fine. There's nothing against that. There's a bunch of hyenas. I think we're going to skip them. Hyenas normally aren't too bad. They're a little bit tougher than some of the other starting enemies. But overall, they don't do a lot of damage and they die pretty quickly, so... You know, in this area you can hunt these guys and it won't be a problem. You can also find cubs around, which you can, of course, kill to get, a uh, Or not kill take to upgrade them using the animal den, which I've not built yet. Uh, but that is very similar to the thrall uh, item, or getting thralls. It's just you get animals instead by feeding them whatever food they want and put them in a cage, essentially. So we're just skipping them due to the time factor, because I want to see if we can make it up to this dungeon. It's not a good time to run out of stamina, though. That was fortuitous. Got a level. All right, we're still in the right direction. Good, good. A little more this way. Yeah, through there work. All right. So do be a little bit careful when you're running through these areas. You may see some new monsters you won't be familiar with. Uh, there are still alligators up here. There are some of those birds that we saw earlier. I didn't fight one, but they're not too bad. And you may also see more spiders, like there are alligators over there. The other thing to keep in mind is that you will find along the way people, like this. Actually, we're going through a camp now. forgot there was a camp here. You can fight them as normal, or you can always try to run through and avoid them. Either way does work. In this case, I'm trying to run past them, hopefully.
Well, luckily the animals over here right now are friendly. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. He's not friendly. Not friendly at all. I think those are the friendly ones. It's the ones with the curved horns versus the males. They're they're vicious. That may not be the right way. That's okay. Let's try to get up here. Try to at least get away from this thing. Go away, antelope. Not the way I was trying to go. Ah, it's a waste of time going that way. And now it's also getting dark. guys over there. I don't know what that was. Alright, where's this go? Uh, Alright, we'll try to climb up here. This might be a little bit of a shortcut, sort of. If I can make it. What the hell's attacking me up here? Uh, we kind of got close to the unnamed city, but I think we'll just kind of go around to the right. We should be fine. But again, for, you know, playing through the game, just... Search around, figure out where you like to go. And definitely would just build there. There's iron. Hyenas? Hurry up, hurry up, stamina, come on. Yeah, there's hyenas still chasing us. Yep. That's right, I think we got past the worst of it. Alright, get up on this rock just for a breather for a second here. Alright, making pretty good progress. Run that way across the lake, river area. It's up that way, okay. Shit, spiders. Damn it, more spiders. I thought they left, left me alone. <laughs> they did not.
off from where I want to be right now. Ooh. Not too bad though, I think I can make this work. Okay. So how are we doing on time now? Still got about 10 minutes left. Alright, I think I can make it up there in time till we show everybody where some other decent places are to create a home. So as you saw, I don't have great armor on right now. So you can definitely just kind of start a place down there if you want, just to kind of get used to things a little bit. And then you can always run up here to the north end. The north side is where most people tend to build because, like I say, you don't have to worry about, uh... uh gotta worry about elephants and tigers. And lions. But... Sorry. A little distracted. Running for my life does that. Uh, sandstorms is what I was trying to point out. Was the sandstorms you can avoid? By cutting uh, up, up top on the mountains a little bit. Get up there. Stupid. Or I do want to point out right here. You might not be able to see it very well. It's a white tiger. That is one of those bosses that has like three skulls on it. So I would not recommend fighting him if you get up to this point. The orange tiger, the regular tiger, like over there is an orange one. They're going to be tough with my starting equipment. I mean, they might kill me, so I probably wouldn't recommend it. But, you know, if you had to do it in a pinch, you could probably at least try to survive. And I think I'm in the wrong place. Well, I think I need to be over. Crap. Oh, another thing to point out. There is a chest. On one of these ridges. Might be over a little bit more. But anyway, there's a chest that when you kill the tiger, I think it's over on that area somewhere. But anyway, you'd have to look around for it. It's in this area, though. It's always near the... Oh, shit! That came out of nowhere. Surprise me. Uh, the bosses drop a key, generally, when you kill them. Ah, oh, shit. And the key will uh, get you special items. Normally, you get a legendary item out of it. So I would definitely keep that in mind. Is this the place I want to go? Ah, this is where I was trying to go. Oh, I was totally off. Sorry, it wasn't here. It was over here I was trying to cut through. On the map, it all looks the same, you know? Okay. Now we're making it to the Northern Territories. I was a little too far east. You know, I think I was too far east because that's where I build my base and drop a elevator down to the bottom so I can go up and down the cliff isn't over near that where that uh white tiger is so that's probably why I got confused for a minute anywho uh, in here you will see some wolves bears what else is there humanoids I think that's about it so we're going to go over here towards this lake and go a little bit past it. And then I'll show you where I was building my base last and then we will probably end the stream there for the day.
Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any more tutorial streams because at this point now I've shown like the first dungeon, you know, we went over thralls, which is always a complicated subject. There's the wolf. I can certainly do another one, do the animal dens if people are interested in seeing that. You know, post in comments or on my Discord if you're interested in seeing more Conan Exile streams. If there's anything in particular you're looking to see, uh, I do have all the expansions, so I could also build up towns for like each of the different groups. So if you want to see what all the different structures look like, in case you're on the fence about a certain pack you're interested in buying, and if you're bored of that old Conan look, you know we can always look at, at building like the Aquilonian castles or the other expansions areas. But I did put a Conan Exiles text channel on the Discord for Day After Day Gaming, so you could look up there, see if you're interested in something up there. Or, you know, post some comments for us. Uh, when we get this up on YouTube, for the YouTube channel, people just put down in the comments below if you want to see more stuff, and we'll try to make that happen too. Anyway, so up here on this little platform, I have built a base before. I made it pretty big kind of covered the whole floor with rocks. I made these big grand staircases kind of going down over here. I made it all the way back to the edge here. Actually, this is where I built a uh, elevator down too. I built a couple platforms out and then put a elevator going straight down, so it got me down to the bottom area there. So this place is pretty cool for a couple reasons. One, look at all that iron. Iron here. Iron here. Iron there. None over there. None over that way. Uh, in theory, you can, and I have done this, I made a stairwell actually that went over to this other rock area. You can't really see from this angle when you over here. So I built a stairwell down. Took a little while to that stone face, so I was able to kind of cut across and go uh, to other areas over there. I don't think there was much iron, but it did allow me to build like other elevators down in different areas. So I had I had kind of a huge area up here that I took over. Uh, there is no source of water, but you can build a well later in the game, which will fulfill all your water needs. And then the other thing that I did was I went over this way you'll see there's more iron ore down here so I built stairs kind of going up here and I made this whole uh, I can we can walk a little bit over there but I basically built bridges all the way over here and, and pathways and lit them up with torches so I could essentially just walk all the way over from here, all the way over to somewhere around here, above the Shattered Basin. So I've got these walkways, and there's ore. If you just keep going, there's tons more ore you can get to by building these little bridges across. Uh, alternatively, you could also build the uh, rope bridges, uh, elevator, rope elevators that go across the horizontal elevators, I guess they call them. Because, like, here, what I ended up doing was I just built a bunch of the uh, put a bunch of the base blocks here and then built some of the ceiling tiles out and then built this little bridge all the way across that went all the way the length over to uh, the other side where that waterfall is and then I was able to walk all the way over there and there's a ton of iron over there too so this place is very rich in minerals up here which is awesome for getting iron I mean I get three or four hundred iron easy and just by walking around here and farming stuff so it's awesome awesome for that uh, there are also some baby wolves over here down one of these pads. I think this one. Is it that one? No, I take it back. It might have been the one we were just at. But you can walk down and pick up some baby wolves, because they often hang out around down at the edge of the area. But like over here, there's some iron too. A good little amount of iron here. And that would be just kind of down from where I would build the base, because normally I would build the base right up here on top of the rock. So I would just have stairwells, so maybe starting around here and having just staircase go all the way up and ending on a platform. So I would build my, my building out a little bit from the rock, right? 
a couple squares out. And make sure to build it up a little bit higher than the rock face, only because you don't want to have an uneven surface up there. If you do, you can't build objects very easily on top of it. So it's just easier to try to make everything you know a little bit taller than what it is and then a little bit further out too. My first base that I built up here, I didn't do a great job with it, so I had a lot of rocks sticking out at certain points and and like get some stamina back here. There we go. Crap. Okay, there we go. But like right here, and, oh, was it there? I think it was right here. This ended up being a little bit taller than I expected. So when I started building my base here, I had this little area right around the front was all jagged out. But anyway, this place is great for base. Uh, you do have a water source nearby, which is this lake. At the middle of the lake as well, there's an island where there are also bears. So you can actually, there are baby bears on that island. So you can also capture the baby bears, build an animal pen over here, and have yourself some pets for later. Anyway, that is all the time we have for today for our stream. Thanks for watching the part three tutorial of Conan Exiles. So we went over a bunch of stuff today, primarily showed you the first dungeon, uh, showed you the unnamed city by accident because we got kind of close to it, and then went up here to show you where you could go to build a decent base. I like this area. Other people that I've seen have built bases over around this lake. Uh, and up here, I think, was another one I saw somebody build once. But from here, the water's really close, so it's convenient. You can put down fishing traps, things nearby. You can get wells. You know, you build elevators up and down. So I like this spot here for my personal taste. And the sandstorms can't reach you, which is also very, very handy. Anyway, that is it for our stream today. This is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll get this up on YouTube soon, in case you want to make any comments up there. But let us know. And we will uh, continue the stream. If anybody wants to see any other features of Conan, please let us know. Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Uh, this is Bobby with Day After Day Gaming. Keep on gaming. Day After Day.